guys, what's up? I'm Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys a really cool technique on how you can link your animations to markers in After Effects. Now, this technique is really cool. I spent a lot of time figuring out how it is done. The reason was there was no tutorial on YouTube showing this technique and a lot of video hype authors use this technique to make the template look really nice and professional. Now, I have few friends on video hype and whenever I approach them to, you know, tell me this technique, they never really told me. I don't know why, but they never really shared with me. So I spent a lot of time doing some research and, you know, stuff to figuring out how it is done. And finally, I came up with this thing. We can use some really simple expressions and we can get this done. So I think that everyone deserves a chance to learn to, you know, to grow and, you know, stuff like that so i don't really think there's something in hiding this technique so yep in this video i'm going to show you how it is done exactly so you can do it in your templates and you know make some sales on video hype so without any further ado let's get straight into the video and get started all right so here we are in after effects and as you can see i have a really simple title animation for an example and here you can see the time duration between the in and the out animation of the title is controlled through this markers and in this video i'm going to exactly show you guys how to exactly create this stuff you can see really simple and if let's say i want my animation or the title to be right over on the screen till five seconds and then animate out i can just drag this marker just like so then it's going to stay on the screen for five seconds and then it's going to animate out so it is really simple and easy to do and a lot of video hive authors use this technique so the first thing that i'm going to do is create a simple composition just for an example you know nothing really crazy just let's say something like a square maybe and let's pretty quickly set this up so i'll just you know make it somewhere around 100 pixels big or maybe 250 something like that really simple for example and then what i'm going to do is let's go to one second and hit p to bring down the position properties and create a keyframe go back in time and i'm going to just hold shift and drag this out so now it's going to come in at one second and let's say i want it i want this square to stay in place for let's say 10 frames so i'm going to create a keyframe just like that and then it's going to animate out to let's say two second and 10 frames just like that so right now we have a really simple animation which looks something like this just to make it a bit more interesting i'm going to select the keyframes and hit f9 to ease, ease it go to graph editor and just tweak it up a little bit by holding shift and just dragging this handle so we have a really little bit of you know interesting animation okay and then let's pre-comp this so hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose it and let's call this box you can of course call it anything you want and it can be anything it can be your title animation or a logo reveal anything that you want so let's say this is our title animation or a really simple logo reveal that we have all right so what i'm going to do is right over here at one second where our animation stops or the square is animating in i'm going to head into key to create this marker and right click go to settings and i'm going to type in in that is capital i and small n this is very important that you type it just the way exactly how i am typing it hit ok then it's gonna stay for 10 frames so i'm gonna create one more marker right over here by hitting into key on the keyboard and go to settings and let's type in out capital o u t there we have it but still nothing is happening so now what i can do is i'm gonna select this and go to time and enable time remapping right over here at our in marker i'm going to create a keyframe for the time remapping and right over here at the out i'm going to create one more keyframe all right something like this so we still don't have anything and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this expression and i will put this notepad file into the description so you can download it from the description so hit control c to copy the expression and hold alt and click on the time remapping stopwatch and hit ctrl v to paste this up and now you can see we have the animation and let's say i want this animation to stay for two seconds and then i want this box to animate out so i can just move this out marker so now it's gonna animate in stay for two seconds and then it's gonna animate out i want this to go much faster i can just drag this marker close and then it's gonna stay and then go out 
just like that if i want i can make this really far maybe something like that so it's gonna stay all of the time just like that and it is actually really simple so that was a quick tip you can say for today and i hope you guys enjoyed it so that is a wrap for today i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was make sure to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative Ooh.